Hello, welcome to this video. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to be going through VR support within Blender, um, the native sort of like built-in VR support. Blender does have it. I'm using Blender 2.9 at the minute. I've not upgraded to 2.91 yet. Um, but yeah, there's a plugin that's built in um, and it uses the OpenXR format. So you need a headset that supports that uh, format for this to work. Uh, the OpenXR website kind of lists all the major headsets. So it seems like you should be covered if you've got a VR headset. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm using the Oculus Quest 2 with um, a third party like link cable to get that working. But yeah, uh, let's just jump into Blender and I'll show you how to enable the add-on and how it works um, and we'll just have a look at a few scenes. Okay, so here we are in Blender. Uh, like I said, this is built in. I'm using Blender 2.9. Um, I think it was 2.8, 2.83 maybe that the add-on came in, but if you've got the latest version of Blender, um, which I think is now 2.91, you should be good to go with this. So you just want to go up to Edit, uh, Preferences, and then if you search for VR, you'll see this uh, 3D view VR scene inspection. Now, you can't walk around in the scene. It's literally just the camera. is Your headset is controlling the camera. You're, you're looking through the camera. Um, but, I mean, it's still cool, the kind of sense of scale you get um, and seeing like something you've built like in 3D in your head is, is very cool. Um, so you just want to check 3D view VR scene inspection um, and you'll notice now I've got a little VR tab down here so if you can't see that after you've enabled it you can press the N panel you've got your normal bars here uh, and VR is there. Um, to see it in the screen uh, to see what you're seeing in the headset reflected in the screen you need to check mirror VR session if that's unchecked the camera will stay sort of stationary within Blender but what you see in your head um, will be you looking through the camera. Um, I'm just gonna leave that checked so I can record my screen. You can kind of see what I'm seeing inside the headset. Um, some of the features are as well that you can have different landmarks. Um, I think these are just kind of like waypoints which you can set so you can like flick between them and like set up a few different cameras. I'm just gonna leave that for now because this is more just to show you sort of uh, what, this is more just to show you kind of how it works and how kind of cool it is. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to press zero on the number pad to go into the camera and I'm just going to fly it back out a bit um, just to like here maybe and then I'm going to check start VR session um, and so my frame rate might go this might be a bit like uh, the frame rate might not be great but you should be able to see what I'm doing and kind of how it all looks um, just make sure mirror VR session so click start VR session and Blender will crash um, like I said it's still experimental uh, let's try that again. Okay, so I've just gone into the headset just to make sure that it's turned on and the link's still working. So let's click VR session again. Uh, click mirror scene view. So now you can see that the headset is moving. So I've just put the headset on. So this is my kind of head motion now. If I... Um, come up to rendered view. So you'll see now that uh, I'm inside my rendered EV scene, which is pretty cool. Um, so that's that scene. Uh, I'm just gonna stop that VR session again. Let's go to the seaside. So here's Grant Abbott's Sea Shack scene. You can see that the animation works, the boat's bobbing. The sea's moving, where are the fish? There's the fish, over there. There they go. It's quite peaceful, actually. Who'd thought it? Hello from the future. Um, I just want to jump in here to say that the uh, screen recording of me going through some different scenes was unusable unfortunately because of the frame rate. Uh, so I did manage to get some um, shots from like just from the headset. So you can see those coming up now. Um, I've got a few different scenes from like, uh, I've got some more of the Sea Shack scene, I've got some of the CG Boost car tutorial scene, uh, some of the donut scene and some of the 
personal ones of my own, including a floppy disk that I made and like a cyberpunk scene that I didn't actually ever finish or post, um, but I just wanted to see that one in VR. Uh, the frame rate from inside the headset still isn't great, but um, you can definitely tell this is a work in progress add-on. Um, volumetrics are just a no-go. If you're in a scene with any form of volume, uh, it kind of either flashes or just or like jumps back and forth, and it's a bit uh, it's a bit it makes you feel quite sick if you're in there because it's just it's not usable at all. Um, but if it's just quite a simple scene, not a lot going on. Like the animations do work, but it's just volumetrics just seem to just ruin it. Um, it's worth noting it's an experimental feature though. Like it is worth remembering that. So I mean, what is there and what works is amazing. It is really cool. But yeah, enjoy these next couple of clips of what it's like in VR. Ooh, my hair's gone a bit funky there from the from the headset. But yeah, if you enjoy it, I just thought that'd be quite a cool little video just to show you the kind of where built-in VR support is at for Blender. Um, if you've got scenes that you'd like me to explore in VR, like feel free to send them over. Uh, my Twitter's on the kind of like bar below me. If you go over there, you can like DM me a link. I'll download your scenes and we can, I'll do, I could do a showcase. Uh, kind of looking at them in VR if you've got anything like that. I'd also just like to say a massive thank you to kind of everyone who's subscribed. I'm now over 500 subscribers, which is great. Kind of when I really put the effort in to start actually making regular videos, I was at 100 and that wasn't that long ago. There's only quite a few months ago, so uh, things are picking up. Uh, if you're watching this video and you liked it, if you could subscribe, that'd be great to get me to the next milestone, which would be a thousand. And if you like any of the tutorials on the channel, you want to get access to those files, I do have a Patreon, uh, which is linked below. And finally, I've made a Discord server where people can come and talk about either 3D design or games design. I've called it the Creative Magpies. Uh, I'm not really sure why, I just I really like magpies. I always salute them when I see them. But yeah, it's small at the moment, but I would love to have you there. Uh, the link to that is also in the description below. But yeah, I hope you like this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!